Hey YouTube, so I'm back with another video. Um, this is coming pretty right after posting my last video last night. Um, I mentioned how I was going to do a review on the Netflix series uh, One Day. Um, and before I do get into it, I am actually on my way to San Diego. So even though I do look kind of dressed up... Um, me and my wife are going to her uh, best friend's wedding. Um, so I have a TikTok, so you guys could follow me on there if you'd like. To, f to I'm kind of going to be blogging it a little bit. But um, <clears throat> getting back into this topic, uh, one day, <sighs> it was a it was a very very uh, heartbreaking show. Prob probably. I honestly can't remember the last time I actually cried, like of a sh like off a TV series or even a movie. And I said it on my TikTok, but I think the last time I actually maybe even teared up was probably the boy in striped pajamas. That one was pretty sad, but I can't remember from the top of my head uh, where I actually had a full blown moment of crying. Um, yeah but anyway getting into uh the topic <sighs> i'm not gonna go into like into major spoilers but all it is is basically about you know the story starts off in 1988 and it ends i believe also in the year of 2007 so like that's like the whole time frame and um before this series they actually had a movie um that was released uh i believe somewhere between the range of 2010 to 2014 i believe but they also um had a book that they uh wrote on as well so that's like a little backstory but um yeah it's basically about two um a boy and a girl uh, the grad I think they're partying they're having like a graduation party um, after like the day of their graduation something like that and uh, these two uh, this boy and the girl they they meet for the first time um, and leading into like the night they hang out and you would believe like having like a you know when you're hanging out with a girl especially at night like you're expected to have like sex you know and um that wasn't the case with this one which um to put it a little bit into more context uh, the boy was named dexter and the girl was named emma and um for dexter it was quite a memorable night just just because of the fact that he didn't get to have sex with emma so <clears throat> The show goes on to uh, the way they start like pacing this show is like every episode since it's like 14 episodes 30 minute length uh, series um, every episode is basically one one day out of the year and each day each uh, each episode is basically each year and these episodes they have like um you know they show different parts of their life like different phases that they're undergoing and they both um you know they both start off you know meeting each other first and then after that uh it's sh the show goes on to show their their journeys as they're growing as their own person um dexter basically was uh he ended up hitting fame he fame at some point and fame got to him and he had a lot of ups and downs and Emma she was kind of like a, a, a normal person where like you you graduate college and then you just get a job and you don't really know what to do with your job uh, what you even want to do in life so that was kind of her story but always with these two characters they always loved each other and always wanted to be together but they never really said it and they never really expressed it which even made it more annoying but the fact that also like even if they 
you know wanted to express it there was never a right time to really like date each other so they would always go go off each character would go off and date other people but they would never date them like each other which was pretty weird and stupid at the same time when you really think about it but <clears throat> yeah and um point is you know these like once they finally get together um it just it just doesn't last long why because one of the character that being emma really uh you know she 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 passes away and it just the ending is like you know pretty heartbreaking because like dexter never really got to have his own like true moment uh dexter throughout the series was always a i think the character who got it the worst um he never had any uh like true peace for himself and the one time he did get with emma finally um it just it just didn't it, it just didn't last so it was pretty it was pretty sad overall but like i think one of like the biggest lessons that like as i'm reviewing this is the fact that like you have to be grateful for what for the people that are in your lives especially like when you're in a relationship um because you you really don't know when you're gonna go and i know a lot of couples even sometimes even my relationship like we just tend to argue even though it'd be about stupid stuff um you really the show really made made me see at least for me like it's not worth arguing or getting mad with your significant other um I just think it's pretty pointless and it's just better just to you know let things go let things be um and just improve because you don't want to get in an argument and that be the last thing that you said to them when they go to the store or something and you never know that's probably the last time you ever see them as those uh the words you say in those moments will probably be the last words you ever tell them let alone that'll be the last words that they'll ever hear from you so when you really put it in that context like yeah man it's 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 something that you guys um and even also me included is we should just not take the people the loved ones that we have in our lives for granted so that was like a really big lesson for me um and then just reviewing like the whole the whole like plot in the story of this show it is just like i know there's there's things that for some people it's crazy that timing is such a big factor why they can't do certain things or be with certain people um i just find that amazing because truly there are those scenarios where you just can't be with someone because either it's not the right time either persons are not mature enough to be with each other or they're just undergoing different seasons in their lives and or maybe like their 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 goals aren't aligned with yours so it's just there's just so many factors that really take um are taken into account so that was like my two biggest ways there's like a there's like a couple more uh, points that I could probably take away but I don't want to make this video too long um, but yeah that was just kind of my thoughts I, I think it is a very good show um, even if you're a guy like um, and you have a high ego uh, I don't think that's a good excuse I think you should you guys whoever if you guys have the uh, opportunity to, to watch this show um, definitely watch it because there are some true gems that you could come out um, after watching these, uh, this series and um, you can grow from honestly so with that being said uh, that's that's my uh, little mini review on it uh, if you haven't watched it go watch it um, other than that um, I'm going to try to fit in one more video this week if I can but um, it's just mainly for me to, to, to make myself a little bit more consistent uh, but other than that yeah um i'll try to do that and uh believe this is it guys so i will see you guys in the next one peace out